Sayonara, space junk. NASA has awarded $50,000 for the development of an innovative new spacecraft that promises to get rid of orbital trash. Space debris in the form of spent rocket parts, old satellites, shrapnel, and other items are accumulating around Earth's orbit, which may make collisions more common. To address this issue, NASA is looking into the Brain Craft, a light 3 foot by 3 foot spacecraft that's thinner than human hair. When deployed, the Brain Craft moves toward a piece of debris and wraps itself around the item. It then fires its thrusters and pushes back toward Earth. The spacecraft eventually lowers itself and the debris down to the atmosphere, where both are incinerated. The brain craft is intended to be light and cheap enough that it can be sacrificed at the end of a cleaning mission, but it may also have other applications beyond just collecting trash. The spacecraft is extremely fuel efficient, making it fully capable of traveling long distances, perhaps to explore and mine asteroids or other space rocks. Here's more cool space technology. Astronauts might one day hibernate their way to Mars. Getting to Mars from Earth takes a long time, as long as 200 days. A group of scientists funded by NASA think astronauts could pass most of that time by hibernating in a sleep chamber, much like what you see here. Each chamber is outfitted with tubes that lower the body's temperature as well as provide nutrition. An intranasal cooling system would lower the astronaut's temperature by 5 to 10 degrees Fahrenheit, which significantly reduces metabolism. The astronaut is fed via catheters attached to the thigh or chest, while another tube carries waste away. This result is what's called a torpor-induced state, using therapeutic hypothermia. One concern is muscle atrophy due to lack of use. Scientists think they can address this through neuromuscular electrical stimulation. As the astronauts approach Mars, the wake-up cycle begins. Warming pads slowly raise the body's temperature. It takes roughly one hour for every one degree rise in body temperature. Fully awake after their long nap, the astronauts are ready to begin their Mars mission. SpaceX aims to reach Mars by 2018. After much teasing, SpaceX finally announced a launch date for its mission to Mars, and it's in the very near future. SpaceX is partnering with NASA to send a Red Dragon, a modified Dragon 2 capsule, on a mission to Mars by 2018. The company has been delivering cargo to the International Space Station since 2012, but the Red Planet is 560,000 times farther away. Instead of the Falcon 9, the Red Dragon will be launched using the more powerful Falcon Heavy rocket. But while launching the rocket is relatively simple, the landing, especially on a planet like Mars, is where things get tricky. With a much thinner atmosphere than Earth's, there's a less cushion for incoming spacecraft, which increases the likelihood of a crash. The Dragon's heat shield can withstand temperatures over 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit, making it possible to safely enter and plummet through the Martian atmosphere. The capsule is also equipped with eight Super Draco engines, which would allow it to execute a propulsive landing in the Red Planet's service. Which would allow it to execute a propulsive landing on the Red Planet's surface. SpaceX CEO Elon Musk is set to reveal more details about the Mars launch at the International Astronautical Conference in September. No more photography duty for astronauts. The Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency has developed a cute floating camera drone that can lighten the workload of astronauts on the International Space Station. The Int Ball weighs 1 kilo and has a diameter of 15 centimeters. It uses the existing drone technology, miniaturized altitude control sensors and actuators in an all-in-one module. The Int Ball arrived at the International Space Station last month and is remotely controlled by the JAXA Tsukuba Space Center from the ground. In the future, the Int Ball is expected to take over photography duties from the space crew and will be able to operate autonomously. At the moment, astronauts on the ISS spend around 10% of their time just taking photos and videos. With this camera drone's help, they now perhaps will have a bit more personal time in space. 
SpaceX rocket sending first inflatable habitat to space. It sounds like a sci-fi dream, but the International Space Station crew is getting their first attachable, expandable room when an unmanned SpaceX spacecraft takes off on Friday. When SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket launches from Florida on April 8th, it'll be sending the Dragon cargo capsule to the International Space Station with 7,000 pounds of supplies. A prototype expandable space habitat called the Bigelow Expandable Activity Module, or BEAM, will be included in the cargo. Air stored inside the BEAM will inflate the habitat to up to 13 feet long and a diameter of 10 feet. The BEAM will be attached to one of the docking ports on the International Space Station for two years. Crew members won't be living in the prototype yet. Instead, they will be running tests on its structural durability, as well as its ability to withstand variations in pressure, temperature, and radiation. Made out of Kevlar-type material, the beam offers protection from outside space debris, such as small, asteroid-like objects. Inflatable habitats could be essential to future missions to deep space. On these long journeys, crew members will need more space to store supplies as well as conduct research. If the upcoming beam experiments prove successful, the prototype will lay the groundwork for future space habitats. Even in space, you have to eat your greens. NASA hopes its astronauts will be able to keep up their veggie intake on future missions to the Moon or Mars, thanks to a greenhouse project it's working on with the University of Arizona. The prototype lunar greenhouse is cylindrical, measuring 18 feet in length and more than 8 feet in diameter. The garden uses a hydroponic system, in which water enriched with nutrient salts flows continuously through the roots of the plants. Carbon dioxide exhaled by astronauts can be absorbed by the plants. In return, the plants produce oxygen for the astronauts through photosynthesis. The exchange forms a bioregenerative life support system. NASA's Veggie Plant Growth System was the first fresh food growth experiment on the International Space Station. The space agency hopes to provide a more sustainable approach to long-term exploration on the Moon, Mars, and beyond.